Welcome back guys, my name is Neon Genesis and this is Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. Okay, so in the last video we met Kenneth Baker who then <laughs> died again of another heart attack. Um, we also met in some sort of, I don't know, robot -y ninja thing, which is pretty awesome if I've got to say so myself. Um, and we got in touch with Meryl, uh, the, the frequency being 140.15. Um, and she said that she'll open the cargo door open in the, the hangar tanker area thingy. I forget what the name, the actual name of it is. Um, need to be careful, I think, because there's going to be some troops or some soldiers walking about. Which floor are we on? First floor, I guess. Oh, itchy, itchy nose. Oh. Hello there, Meryl. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Oh, Thanks. perfect time. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, nothing. Come on, Snake, Listen, tell Snake, her. the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Yes. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. Oh, These guys man. are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Meryl, Meryl, Meryl. If only she actually took Solid Snake's advice. But then again, she wants to prove herself, so. Uh, I'll have a quick look around. There's, some, there's now a room, rooms that we can enter, shall I say? Be careful, though. That's one way of doing it. Oh. Right, that's one one item there. So we've got now we've got the suppressor. Uh, no, not the suppressor. So what did we pick up? I thought there was a suppressor. Ah, cool, yeah, it's already equipped. So the suppressor's now already been equipped. Whew, that was close. Pretty good call that was. Uh, and into this room, can we? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, and into this room. Carbar box. We never know when a box will come in handy. Whew, again, that was lucky. See, I think the main points are for not actually killing the enemies. Uh, well, the enemies that you have to kill anyway. So I can't go in that dog. By the looks. Will I get spotted here? <sighs> Don't you dare look my way. Oh! I say we make a run for it, guys. What do you reckon?
Don't mind me. Just a lovely little box. Can I wonder? Ah, oh dear. Whew. That's excuse me for my lame sort of sneaking skills here. I wasn't actually supposed to use a stun grenade. But never mind. Can run for it. There's the cargo doors. Okay, let's have a check. Check what she's gonna say now. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Somehow. Right, so guys, we can do two methods here. We can use the old cigarette trick, and as you can see, the beams are there. Uh-oh, I've actually screwed up there. Damn it. Only I had save states now. Oh no. So we're gonna die, so fortunately we can't get out. But you can see all the lasers now, so you, we've gotta get past these. Oh dear. Snake, what happened? Snake! Snake! Nah, that's alright. Oh well, never mind. Let's try this again. I'm going to answer this, but it's the same thing. We can't see it because we're naked. Oh, sorry. We can't see it because we're in our naked eye or whatever she says, right? Okay. Right, next trick. Thermal goggles. That's another one done. And that's another one done. And that's another one done. Sweet as. So, bit of a fail there from Neo, but ah well, we got through it in the end. It has been an incredible long time since I've played the original. I have only played the uh, Twin Snakes version as the. Um oh, this looks a bit open. I've only played the Twin Snakes uh, version uh, in the last few years. Oh, Codec call. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mind detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? Deep Throat. The informant from the I... Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Oh, okay. That mind detector that we picked up will come just in handy. Oh yeah, you can see them on the map there. And I just walked into it like an idiot. What an absolute idiot, Neo. Seriously. Idiot, idiot, idiot. So if you lay down, the trick is you get to pick these up. Damn right I'm going to pick them up. And damn right I'm going to use them when I can. I don't know... I'm gonna fail here probably, but I don't have to mind look off if I crawl over it. Sweet, it didn't. Right. <sighs> Neil, you're failing. Um, okay. So we've picked up the clay models. Can we Nope, he doesn't want to talk to us. Deep throat. I'm I'm sorry, but lol at his name. Could that be any more? 
you know, sexual. Let's have a chat with Campbell. Colonel, I got a codec call from someone outside this operation. I know. We were monitoring the call. Maylene knows everything about the communication system, so let me have her explain it to you. Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. Mm. So you mean someone leaked the information? That's the only explanation I can think of. Mei Ling, do you know where that transmission originated from? I'm sorry. The radio waves were too weak to locate their source. But I'm sure he's near you. Somewhere on the base. Wow. Snake, you'll have to go through the minefield to advance. Well, I kind of gathered that, my uh, Campbell. You were... Uh... Just sort of stated the obvious there. I rang you for help and you put Mei Ling on. I might as well just rang her. That's what Mass has to say about good old Deep Throat. Master, uh, does the name uh, Deep Throat saying. mean anything to you? Deep Throat? What? <laughs> you mean the guy from Watergate? No, but he uses the same name. Whoever he is, he's not part of our operation, but he's been giving me advice by Kodak. What? On top of that, he wasn't using burst transmission. It seems he was transmitting from somewhere on this base. Somewhere on the base? <clears throat> yes. I have no idea who that could be. I see. Oh well, you were no good as well. Okay, so I've got two rations. Full health? No, nearly full health. Right. Okay. So in this pit, if I remember rightly, it's grenade time. Now again, you'll have to bear with me, it's been a few years since I've played, well in fact it's been a lot of years since I've done the original Metal Gear Solid. And there's the tank, just like, lol, deep throat, had said. This is Raven's territory. Ah, uh, you must be Vulcan Raven. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. Wow, <laughs> solid snake. I That's should right. be you belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Epic line. Come, let's fight. Oh dear. Oops. God, I'm getting shot the hell out of here. Oops. That was a good hit. Oh, plunk right in there. Plunk, plunk that right inside there. Too late, or he just planted a grenade in there. Ah, oh, maybe not. Plunk! Oh, you have to wait, like a wait timer. What, really? Wow, that was uh, easier than I thought. Don't fuzzing mess Raven. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, 
boss. I hope you are happy. You got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. See? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. <laughs> In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Oh, nice. We should go and get a big glass of Coke, raven. That's all I've got to say, dude. Anyway. Oh. Was that an extra boost in health? I couldn't really tell. I think it was. Something down here. Well, that's pretty exciting stuff. Another little mini boss there we had to kill. How much ammo can we actually hold now? So we've got the FA mask we can use. Or the FAMAS or the FAMAS or whatever you want to call it. So come on. Ooh, 73 bullets is our cap now. I've got some claymores to play around with, a like one grenade to play around with. Anyway, let's stick with my silence gun. We've not had time to play with that really. See, I don't want to shoot anyone yet. I don't think I've actually used it yet, but. Oh! Now it's not a good time to get a codec call when he's like a troop uh, Be guy or you soldier. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Well, obviously, Naomi. Snake. Never use your weapon on that floor. Now which way is he gonna go? Because there's a parcel up there. So they've got their guns, but we're not allowed to use ours. Come on, Mr. Troop Soldier, dude. Go 
Oh, let's just get off this floor for now. Oh yeah, we can actually hold another ration now. We've got three, three rations we can hold. Uh, let's have a chat with Meryl. Dr. Emmerich should be in the laboratory area in the second floor basement. Okay. So we're actually on the wrong floor here. While oh, we're here, I'll have a quick nosey around. Got one guard over there. Nope, can't go in that one. Nope, can't go in that one. Can't go in that one. Can't go in that one. Oh. Whew. That was lucky. I will take the Nikita rocket launcher. <whistles> Defo will take that. Oof, that was lucky. Oh. Did the elevator actually come down? Called it. Oof, that was lucky. Very lucky indeed. Right, B2 law, right. So after all those rooms, we couldn't get in any of them apart from it. We got the Nikita, which if you don't know what that is, well, who knows it, which is the rocket launcher. Right, okay. Aha, there we go. I think that must be him. That must be the scientist, or, as we like to say, the doctor. Uh, let's have a look through here. Alright, so there's a box here. That looks, like a, that looks like a weapon or a parcel of some sort. We've got a ration here. Alright. Uh, oh. It showing us. Kind of like the circuit. I don't know, the circuit board or something. Oh. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But I think it's just showed us. It. Use a remote controlled missile. How ironic that I've just picked up the Nikita! I think this was it! Right there! Yep, spot on! Got my O2. Uh, I'll take my chaff grenades. Just a ration in there, isn't it? Ah, oh. gas mask. Right, we never have to be careful of the guns. Let me in this one. C4, nice, more grenades. Oh. Nikita rocket launcher, uh, ammos. So all good. Let's 
so I have to keep switching to my mask because obviously I'm losing O2 which is my oxygen ah oh, chafkin ears after all that why not loud I ran all the way around here for chafkin ears Josip not now jeez man if anyone who doesn't know who Josip is is there any ammo over there? no if anyone who doesn't know who Josip is he's just a friend of mine who uh, we played some Grand Theft Auto with uh, right. Okay, we've gone into another room now. Uh, no, I don't think we're going to need that anymore. So I'm going to put my health is quite low now. Anyway, uh, oh my God! What the heck was that? Can I see? No? Um. Yeah, put this on there. What, can we see through there? Come on, Snake. Oh my god! Well, let's get this open and have a look. Oh my god. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. And I think you guys can already guess what you think it may be. It's a ghost. Well, he's dead. Oh, creepy music or something. Oh, creepy noise. Oh, is that the enemy? Is that the dude he took down on the floor? Can't really see. Still alive though. Okay guys, well I'm going to end the video there on this climactic ending. Join us when we're going to be entering this lovely little door here. Until then guys, stay well and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.